What is up, it's Eddie Neddy, and welcome to another video on the channel where we're talking about realistic career mode signings for mid table slash relegation threatened Premier League clubs. Um, there's a mixture of positions here. I've tried to get as many multitude of positions as I can, and also affordable ones of high potential, and also just quality players as well, and also fun to use players. And also affordable as well, obviously. So we're kicking it off with Ajax with a Ramaj, who is a German goalkeeper, valued at five million, potential up to eighty. Um, yeah, he's not going to cost you too much. Not necessarily the best starting rating for a goalkeeper, however, can quickly grow at only twenty-two years of age. Next, we're going to be on to is a bit more of a higher-rated goalkeeper, Dominic. Kostraski, who is a Croatian goalkeeper, 24 76 overall, again has potential up to 79 80 ish. Uh, he's valued at seven and a half million and a very low weekly wage. Currently playing in Greece for uh, PAOK. Uh, so, yeah, in my opinion, I think this would be a really good goalkeeper signing and a good rating for a Premier League goalkeeper. Next one is a bit more of a realistic one in real life, Anthony Patterson. Unfortunately, his potential isn't as good as I think his ceiling is in real life compared to the game. Usually, it's the other way around. Usually, the game has players' uh, potential a lot higher than what they are in real life. But uh, Anthony Patterson is the Sunderland goalkeeper. 24 years of age, very cheap. Unfortunately, his rating is not great, but... If you can manage to maybe leave him for a season at Sunderland and then sign him the next following season or sign him and then just play him in all of the cup matches and the odd game here and there, he probably will easily grow up to 75 overall. And then at 25, you'll have like a 75 rate goalkeeper. I could probably reach 77, 78 maybe, pushing on 80. But I think maybe out of push, maybe out of push. But yeah, Anthony Patterson from Sunderland, not going to cost you much money. Next one is the highest potential one on the shortlist in terms of the goalkeeper union. Jonas Urbrig, who is currently playing for FC Clone. 20 years of age, 73 rated, the potential up to 84, 85 or higher. 6.7 million to 5 million. If you sign this guy and immediately show him in the first team, he's going to grow like hell. Next one, another high-rated goalkeeper, James Trafford. This guy's been linked to a lot of Premier League clubs in real life as well. Newcastle United mainly, but they've already got pretty much half the goalkeepers in the Premier League. Uh, but yeah, James Trafford, 5.9 million, 7.9 million. Again, most of these goalkeepers, apart from maybe uh, Kotaraski, they all are fairly low-rated. Uh, but then again, easily, easily can grow. And James Trafford is another example, similar to Urbig, that can reach really high heights. Uh, so yeah, cost you 5 million and not the most expensive weekly wage. Next one is Leeds United keeper Melier, 74 rated, 24 years of age, 4.7 to 6.3 million. Currently playing for Leeds United, another keeper that could grow at least to mid or high, uh, or high 70s rated goalkeeper. Next we're on to is the right back. The only right back on the shortlist. However, we do have left backs that can play right backs uh, as well. So Van Weck, you probably want to have this at the start of the career mode. The team will not be away to the play because it's too important for the club. Unfortunately, it's a bit like a dice, really. You know, you have to, you know, like roll it and it might, it might, you know, be able, you might be able to buy him, you might not. So, but anyway, Van Weck, 74 in at 23, really high potential on this guy. His pace, 92 pace. Valued at 7 million, probably cost you roughly around about that because championship clubs usually roughly accept the valuation. Next player we're going to go to is Maximim Estive from Burnley. This man has been linked to many of the Premier League clubs as well. 74 rated at 22, left footed centre back, very high potential, potential of 80, really big good signing. Next one is Tenen Menge, the former Manchester United defender, will cost you upwards of 10 million. 74 rated at 22. Another player, a bit similar to Esteve. Very high potential, a high ceiling, and also got a face scan. You gotta love that. Next one is Mez Hilges. Hil Hilges? Hilges? Who is an Indonesian centre back. Uh, valued at 7.5 million. Very cheap weekly wage, but again, high potential. Um, without, you know, training plans, I've seen this guy hit 79, 80 rated in uh, other career modes. But yeah, in my opinion, this would be a really solid pickup. Not necessarily your out and out centre back. Definitely probably better suited in a back three. Uh, or a DM role. He's definitely more of a ball-playing defender. 
So, yeah. Pascal Stroit, 25 rated at 24 years of age from Leeds United, 8.5 million, 6.4. Again, potential, 77, 78 uh, rated. Not a world beater of a defender, but definitely could do a job. Mario Junior can play left back and right back. He also is left footed as well. Three star weak foot. We can easily grow up that weak foot. Good pace. 8 million market value. Potential up to 80. Uh, again, not a bad release clause either. But then again, I think that all depends on the career mode that you do do. Uh, loads of, um, you know, play, uh, play style plus options. As you see, false back got a plus. Half wing, you can play centre mid. False back got a plus. And even legend plus plus and basic role plus. So, and he's a really well rounded fullback. Next one, in my opinion, I think is the cherry of the bunch. Alfie Dowerty from Luton Town, the highest rated player in the championship. Potential of low 80s, 24 years of age, known for his crossing, which is play style, his whip pass, which is, you know, like, if, let's say if you, I don't know, I've got like a six foot five striker, Andy Carroll, re sign him and have Alfie Dowerty out on the left, just crossing balls into the box. You're easily going to score goals. He would definitely be, in my opinion, the main go-to left-back you should buy for your Premier League career mode. Next one is Rivdan Yilmaz, the Turkish international. 23 years of age, 74 overall, 8.6 million, 6.4. Potential of mid-70s, really. Uh, won't cost you too much either. However, the wages are a little bit more than the other players that I have suggested at 30k a week, despite not being the highest rate. And I've actually went to go and click on something else. Well done there, Eddie. Well done. Anyway, next player we're going to talk about is going to be Brujan Meyer. A, a left back, can play left back, left mid and centre back. Six foot three at 21. Not the most expected, only at 4.3 million and cheap weekly wage. High potential on this guy. Next one is Ben Sheaf from Coventry, formerly of Arsenal. He's got a lot of highly weekly wage, but I've seen this guy grow it to be 80 rated. Even you guys watch the middles for career mode, but yeah, really good DM option and a great player in real life. Next one is Eric Martel from FC Clone, another clone player. 7.5 million uh, will roughly cost you. High potential on the highest on the shortlist, actually. It's only four rated and only at 22 years of age, in my opinion, is a must pick up. Next one is Mikhail Sadek from SC20. 8 million to 6 million. 8 million is his market value. Won't cost you too much because in Twente aren't the biggest of clubs financially. So you can roughly get him for around about his valuation. And definitely can play centre mid as well. Vinny Souza from Sheffield United, the DM, the Brazilian, mid 70s overall uh, with potential. 4.3 million. Again, raised are quite high, but what do you expect for Premier League club? Play styles, long ball plus, intercept, and slide tackle. Next one is Ni. <laughs> Endeshimi, I don't know how you pronounce his name, but uh, Yusuf Endeshimi, who is a centre defensive midfielder from Nice, can also play centre back as well as centre mid. Uh, 12, uh, 12 and a half million, basically, and round about 10 million. His value is 8.5 million. This guy usually, roughly, is a free agent coming into the second season, or you can get him on a pre contract, so definitely keep your eyes out for him. Next one is Dan Neal from Sunderland, another Sunderland player. So three red at 22 years range, CDM centre mid, 6.9 million to 5.2 million for Dan Neal. Next one is Diata from AS Monaco, the right winger. Four star, four star, very good right there. Play styles, rapid and quick step, really good. Not too expensive either at 6.5 million, definitely a good option to have off the bench. Next is Habib Diara from Strasbourg. Very high potential midfielder. Another one of the highest one on the shortlist. At only at 20 years of age at 73 overall. Next one is Christoph Zavarez, who is becoming a Greek international in real life. Plays styles, long ball plus and technical. Currently playing for Slava Pradia in Czech Republic. Four star, four star. Definitely more of a centre mid slash DM role. Uh, which is surprising to see, to be fair, especially for a player, you know, being no disrespect to me at five for eight. Usually expect DMs, as we see here, you know, six foot, six foot two, oh, five foot seven, actually, but yeah, six foot two again, and six foot one. So definitely more on the smaller side, but a good midfielder nonetheless, but 10 million. 
Next one is Andy Juf from RC Lens. Got a face scan in the game as well, which is fantastic. 21, 24, red. Another one of the higher potential players in the short. He's been very young at almost mid 70s overall. A must pick up for uh, must pick up if you need a centre mid as well. Next one is Raskin from Rangers. Another player with face scan again, similar to Yilmaz. Wages are quite high. But, um, again, another really good midfield option. Like, honestly, I really think suit would suit like a Brighton or a Fulham or something. That are just fantastic play styles and just some incredible regular stats right there. You see 83 balance, 84 stamina, 82 aggression, 80 reaction, 79 composure on a midfielder, 79 short passing. You know, and even not bad defensive stats considering he is definitely more of a uh, ball playing midfielder. Next is Christian Medina from Boca Juniors, 75 rated at 22. Not the most, um, not the most, I don't know, like, I don't know, I don't know what I'm trying to say here, but not the most, um, cheapest to players, really, compared to the other ones they got on the shortlist. You know, you're potentially looking at around about 15 million, and this guy does grow quite quickly on career mode. If you're going to sign him, you really need to sign him soon, as you see. 14.1 million, and let's say you do a Premier League club, that's you know, let's say if you ran about budget, ran about 30 to 40 million, that's almost half your budget, you know, or at least uh, one third of your budget, so yeah. Rio had Tate, another player has been linked to many Premier League clubs, 76 rated 26, unfortunately hasn't got that much room to grow, but you'll definitely be able to get him by a few ratings, but in terms of his card, you know, or his stats, he is so good, 90 balance, 84 agility, 80 reactions, 80 composure, 79 ball control, 82 shot power, 78 long passing, 79 short passing, 80 volleys, and look at them play styles, power shot, Incisive pass, pinged pass, technical, flair, first touch, relentless. Definitely a must pick up in my opinion. You know, if you if you need a midfielder, and unfortunately he's not going to grow much, but he is good. Next is Kenneth Taylor from Ajax, the Dutch midfielder. Uh, has got high potential up to 81. According to so FIFA, yeah, Norwich I could say really, you know, really good solid centre mid option. Next one is Marilyn Roll from the Bundesliga, currently playing for Freiburg. 75 rated at 21, very high potential, however, very expensive. 16.7 million to 13.4 million. Not bad. Next one is probably one of the most exciting ones of the shortlist. Luca Colioso, who is the uh, Burnley Italian winger. 19 years of age at 73 overall. Will cost you not too much to begin with, but he grows like that. And definitely the highest potential option on the shortlist, I think. But yeah, play styles, rapid flare, quick step. Roughly cost you about 5.5 million, maybe more. Next one is Rene Kadra, formerly of Brighton Hove Albion in the Premier League. Another really good option play, Cam and left winger. Very good pace, the option 87 acceleration, 84 sprint speed, 82 agility, 83 balance. Definitely more of a winger rather than a centre attacking midfielder. Next one is Stein from FC Twente. High potential on Stein up to 80. Could potentially try and get him. 10.6 uh, million to 8.5 million. Uh, really good play style as well, chip shot and relentless. So I feel like he's a very underrated play style. Next one is Morgan Whitaker. Usually he will say this on him, but he is still a great option. He's linked to many Premier League clubs in real life. 74 rated, the English man. Got an absolutely... I don't know how he doesn't have the uh, power shot play style. He seems to be very good at that in real life and definitely above championship level. Next one is Ernest Muna, who we all know this guy very well with Leon's financial situation. Definitely would be a good pickup. And also, however, most importantly, this man has almost joined Premier League clubs. Nottingham Forest, Everton, Fulham. He had a medical at Fulham, which fell through. I believe Sam Everton as well. Really good potential on this kid. Really good potential. Next one is Lasani Traore, formerly of the Ajax Youth Academy. Not the best option for a Premier League club. However, it does have a potential of 78 overall, which isn't a bad rating for a Premier League 4 plus with dynamic potential, maybe even more. Has got the power header play style. If you've got a corner, bang. Next one is Kevin Denke uh, from, I don't, I don't know what country that is, actually. I want to say that's Tobago um, or Togo or something like that. 
10 million market value. Uh, yeah, some really good stats. 88 jumping, 89 strength. Definitely a bully, you know, of a striker that can only just run through the defence and hopefully he's trying to find his way through. A target forward is his uh, playstyle plus. No, advanced forward is his playstyle plus, my apologies. And finesse shot, technical and aerial. Aerial with a player with uh, 88 jumping and 89 strength is... Wow. <laughs> Uh, Facundo, Facundo, sorry, uh, Farias, who is a Argentinian striker, currently playing into Miami with Messi, finesse shot, flair, first touch, trickster, press proven. If you want the next Messi at your club, get this guy. Kristovic from Lecce, the Montenegro forward. Uh, definitely not one that I think screams excitement when you look at some of his base stats right here. 66 pace, 74 shoot, insane three physical. Four star week, for, however, but at 24, you can definitely grow all them stats up still. and won't cost you a lot of money. Karin Kanate, pace. Is this guy's uh, best attribute? 85 acceleration, 86 sprint speed, along with 86 jumping. Definitely one that you want to try and beat defense with the rapid play style as well. Very good. And the final one, last but not least, Dan Edoy from Bologna. 23 overall, cost you 11.3 to 9, uh, 9.4. Not bad stats for a winger, but definitely need to upgrade the skill moves in the weak foot. It's like three star. Isn't the best and the rapid play star. But anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed this video on the channel. If you guys have, please do make sure to drop a like on it and subscribe. Thank you for watching, everybody. Have a great day. Take care.